Hey guys, it's Brandon Miniman from Techno Buffalo, and this is a look at the new Kindle application for PC that was just released. I really enjoy my Kindle. I believe that in the future, those of us that read on a regular basis will have some sort of digital reading device, whether it's an Amazon Kindle, a Barnes & Noble Nook, or whatever else comes out in the future. The idea of having all of your books in one small place, or in one device, or even accessible through your iPhone, or your PC, or Mac, is just a really great idea, and it saves you a lot of space not having to tote around lots of books with you. So let's take a look at the new Kindle application for PC. Coming up soon, they're releasing a Kindle application for Mac, so those of you um, that have a Kindle and have a Mac will be able to use this soon. So let's take a look at what this application does. Here in Archived Items, kind of like the iPhone app, you get a list of all the books that you have, and from here you can choose to download specific ones. So for example, let's double tap on this book, and in about three or four seconds, you have the whole book on your screen. It's really amazing. And in the bottom left corner, you can see that you can turn pages either by using the scroller on the mouse or by pressing the right or left arrow keys. Up and down will also work. Now, what's really advantageous about reading a Kindle book on your laptop or netbook or, or PC is that because you have a higher resolution screen, you can see tons more text on the screen at one time. And so we can actually adjust the font size. And probably this is about... This is, a, this is probably about the amount of text that you get if you're reading on a Kindle. But because we're on a, on a computer, we can make the text size smaller, and we can expand the words per line hugely, so that now we're turning pages a lot less. Yes, the text is a little bit smaller, and of course you can increase the text size if it's too small for you. But it's really great to be able to have the content on a computer screen. Let's see what else we can do with this. We can click the Go To button, which will allow us to scroll through the big, go right to the beginning, uh, go to a specific location, or just jump right to the cover of the book. Let's go home and go to another book. The Kindle app doesn't let you highlight yet or search. That's coming up after the beta. Um, but in the upper right corner, we can go and see any pages that we've bookmarked. And if you've bookmarked something on the iPhone app or on the Kindle itself and you've synced it, it will sync with the PC app, which is really fantastic. Because I can go back and I can see where I bookmarked the pages that I found to be the most interesting. And I can bookmark new ones and have them sync to all of my devices running the Kindle application or the Kindle itself. So extremely convenient if you are a heavy reader. The application doesn't do that much else. It's pretty much a reader. If we, if we tap up here, Shop in Kindle Store, we are taken to Amazon's website. They don't even have an embedded Kindle Store within the application, unfortunately. Um, but that's probably coming down the line. So it's really great that this application finally exists, and we're looking forward to it getting out of beta and having more features. And of course, we're looking forward to the Mac version coming out soon. That's it for now.